Hi, I'm Ron Shapiro. For some time, nephrologists have been challenged to find an effective and safe way to treat joint pain in their renal patients. A single aspirin or NSAID could produce complete renal failure. Now physicians of all disciplines have become aware of the inherent risks of pain medications. With over 100 million patients in the United States with knee pain, a team of physicians, biophysicists, and bioengineers set out on a mission to develop technology that would be effective and safe in treating joint and muscle pain. The result of that was a digital device, a digital medicine device, that had both sensory and therapeutic capabilities. And the results were that patients were getting very good results. Pain was reduced, mobility was increased, and performance was enhanced. And then we needed to validate that what we were seeing was not placebo effect. So a medical study was commissioned and Dr. Ken Bachman, our scientific advisor, and Dr. Ken Colucci, our principal investigator, developed and executed the study. Hello, I'm Ken Colucci, and I've been an emergency medicine physician for over 30 years. I've seen what joint pain from sports injuries and other causes can do to an individual's quality of life and performance. It's well known that pain pills, injections, and even joint surgery has its limitations and risks. As I became more familiar with new digital technology for joint and muscle pain, I was also very intrigued with the clinical potential it offered. I look forward to participating in the clinical study designed by Dr. Bachman. Hi, my name is Ken Bachman. My background is in academic pharmacology where I've taught and conducted research in both general and clinical pharmacology and clinical pharmacokinetics for over three decades. Much of my ex uh, research experience has pertained to the design and execution of phase one and phase two clinical trials of new drugs. However, many of those studies have been broadly similar to this pilot study of the clinical effectiveness of the Willow MD. Sixty-nine patients with chronic knee pain were randomly allocated to one of four treatment groups with approximately 17 patients per group. The study was completely blinded with one group treated with a fully operational device using both thermal and photonic energies. A second group was treated with a device emitting only thermal kinetic energy. A third group was treated with a device configured to only emit photonic energy. And the fourth group was treated with a complete sham device. Several parameters, for example, number of steps climbed, knee circumferences, pain rank during uh, flexion and flexion angle achieved prior to pain perception were assessed. The, the assessments occurred immediately prior to treatment and immediately after application of a 25-minute treatment. An analysis of variance with the Tukey multiple comparisons procedure was used for comparing treatment results. The fully or partially activated device was statistically superior to the sham device in patients with chronic knee pain. The results suggest that this device may have benefit for patients with chronic knee pain and that larger, more robust studies of the device are clearly warranted.